Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Foot Player Days, Conmi Bull, Libertadores, Team Objectives, Squad Building Challenges. We got to talk about it today. Uh, and this little Market Talk video, I want to talk about the content that came today um, with this Conmi Bull stuff. I want to talk about that. We have Man of the Match items. We had a new pack uh, code that was just added. An 84 to 91 guaranteed rated player. Uh, from a, a pack it looks like is going to be coming so I want to pull that up for you guys as well and talk about that a little bit but I want to talk about the market movements from today because it was an interesting day on FIFA of course we had the foot player days loading screen we knew this economy bull stuff was coming and the economy bull stuff is just really interesting in my opinion like I thought there's going to be a lot more content today than what there actually was especially based on what they did last year with foot player days um, especially with the um, what we what we saw with the the best of team of the week cards coming back into packs, which we did not have this time around. So I was just kind of disappointed by that today. Uh, half price packs and stuff. We'll talk about all that stuff here in a second. Talk about the team and all that stuff. But um, you know, again, it's just it's another promo Friday, and it just kind of feels like another little bit of a letdown too. Of course, we had the usual server problems. People could not log on to the game at 6 p.m. UK, which nothing is new about that. Uh, we had issues where cards were supposed to be in packs, but they weren't or whatever. So it was another issue-filled day, another issue-filled first Friday of content on foot. This is the tweet that dropped at 6 p.m. UK. Libertadores kickoff team. Um, buy one get one free and coin discount packs engagement pack reward prime icons and draft bonus weekend league player pick and new icon swaps three when i first saw this the thing i got the most pumped up about was the icon swaps three because i was like hold the phone icon swaps three doesn't end for another week yet so since that doesn't end for a week this to me seems like we're going to be having a two-week promo regarding foot player days i'm really curious to see what they're going to do with the second week maybe for the second week they're going to throw best of team of the weeks back into packs um maybe that's not until the second week but we'll just have to kind of find out and see uh what that does look like but of course this is the squad that we did get in packs today there's a there's an interesting kind of player base in here there's some cool cards in here that could be you know, put together in some fun teams, right? And that's what I think the takeaway is from this team of players that is in packs is that it's just cool and fun, right? I kind of rate EA for the boosts that they gave these cards and just for putting these cards in uh, just because it's cool, right? This gets your, somebody who likes to build squads and somebody who likes to build uh, teams that are just not really meta, right? Like just mixing it up and doing something different, but still usable cards in this game this is a GG because there's a lot of really fun, usable, triable cards in here. Uh, even like a lot of outside backs. There's a bunch of left backs. Bangaro, 90 pace, 94 physical. That's not bad. Here's a right back with 87 pace, 80 defense, 86 physical. Velasco, another 90 pace, 90 physical center back. Um, then we have some pacey strikers, a pacey right back, Opazo. Um, of course, Tevez, Lopez, Salvio, and Antonio Valencia. And this Rojas, I think, are kind of taking... The most amount of hype for the cards that are in this team. Tevez right now is still extinct at 650,000 coins. They gave him a massive, massive boost. Um, but again, I just think that this is just, it's just okay, right? And again, I, I feel like this this shouldn't have been sat by itself as the only content for the day, but it is what it, it, it is, and you know what happens. So let's look through their website really quick here, and then we'll talk about some of the market stuff and stuff that's in the game. Foot Player Days. Uh, to celebrate the start of Kami Bowl Libertadores, we've got a brand new team, 30 players, special permanently upgraded player items released in packs and select players through SBCs, and as a dynamic objective. Dynamic objective. Interesting. Interesting. Kami Bowl base and man of the match items, they're going to be adding those cards as well. This was one of my critiques from the day. They added 800 items to the game. You're adding more crap. Okay, it shouldn't be called crap, but you're adding more stuff to the game. We're, we're talking about these like base items. We're talking about like the UCL rare and the, the Champions League non-rare versions of these Conmi Bowl cards, right? That's kind of what this is. Why are they adding 800 of those to the game on your game that can barely support people logging on at 6 p.m. UK on a Friday to see what the content is? Why are we adding more into the game when we can't have a fully functional game first? That's the part that gets me a little bit, you know, messed up. Uh, but they're adding Conmi Bowl Band of the Match cards. All right, sweet. We'll see how those go. 
again this is just kind of a cool way where we can get different usable cards and make squad building fun uh, and just use some cards that we're not used to using so i like that aspect of it now i'm going to be talking about this a lot and i don't hear people talking about this that much and this is huge for the market buy one get one free and coin discount packs these are being released as lightning rounds for the buy one get one free packs i'm going to talk about how these are going to impact the market tiered engagement reward this was messed up today they were not giving out the correct pack at first i got my ultimate pack right away i got an 83 rated they like did not give out much from these packs today uh ex except for a few people that i saw packing insane things but all prime icons in draft for a limited time I mean, I've been getting moments in drafts. I did a draft last night and I had 90, what did I have? I had moments Haji, I had moments Soul Campbell, and I had um, another moments card in there somewhere. A striker, I think. I had some other, I had multiple moments cards. Why are they talking about prime icons? We already have moments in drafts. We have, why do I, I don't know. I don't know why this is something they have to advertise. For the first time ever, all 90 prime icons will be made available in draft. We already have moments, we're chilling. Whatever, I don't know. They're, they made they made something out of that. Bonus weekend league player pick. We found that out last night. And then during the event, new selections of icons will be made available through set three. Uh, and then this is just the beginning of content through foot player days. There's more to come. So stay tuned. All right. I will stay tuned, EA Sports. And we'll see what comes in this next week of this game. Uh, but I do want to talk about a few things inside of the game at the moment. These cards, I don't know why some of them have dynamics and why some of them do not, but these are some of the most hyped up ones. The, this Mena card looks really solid to me. And a lot of these cards are really cheap, right? Because you need icons or you need to link these together like Rojas and Mena. You're probably going to use these two together if you're going to play with them in a team. And then some of these guys do look pretty usable, right? Lissandro Lopez looks pretty nuts. Four star, four star, high, high. A really good looking card. His card price is up, and I think his is, is going to stay inflated a little bit because Tevez is not on the market. I think if Tevez is on the game and when he is actually not extinct anymore, I do think you will see that uh, Lissandro Lopez drop in price. But this card is extinct at 650,000 coins across all consoles right now. I do think this is like a 900k card. You're like, bro, why would this be a 900,000 coin card? But, dude, if you look at this card on FIFA... This card looks dope. This Carlos Talvez, with a dynamic image as well, looks like a freaking sick card. 94 physical. Look at the end games on this man. 91 finishing. He's got an 89 agility, 93 balance, 99 strength, and 99 aggression, 97 composure. This dude's going to be fast, agile, quick, and strong, and not to mention 4-star, four 4-star. Four so there's a lot of hype for this card. Of course, Tevez is a FIFA legend as well. So I don't think 650k is going to fit the budget for this guy. I want to this card's probably going to get upgraded to like a million coin price range and I think he's I think this is like a 700 700 is probably too low maybe. 800 to 900,000 coin card when it's all said and done after these cards are in packs for a week. There's going to be a lot of hype around this Tevez. Um, and supposedly they're not really popping up that much either. Somebody said they were sitting here trying to snipe Tevez Tevez's for like an hour and they only saw three pop up in an hour so that intrigues me a little bit because that makes me think this card is very rare and if they do upgrade his price range to like 1.5 mil then i do think he'd be over a million coins for a bit of time because i just don't know how many of these are actually on the market because he's basically been extinct the entire time that he's been out so um the pack weight again i just mentioned pack weight we can talk about this for a second um pack weight on these cards is five percent from a rare mega pack i have not myself opened one of these yet i did the rare mega pack sbc from today which is not a bad sbc untradeable but a rare mega is not a bad kind of pack to get from a free sbc pack but a 5.2 percent chance of packing one of these i think a lot of that percentage chance is in one of the lower tier guys right like one of these guys like maybe um like uh who's who's one like this guy cardozo right here right this guy is probably one of the ones that you're going to pack most of the time. What's his first name? Neri Cardozo, right? This guy. He's a 30,000 coin, one of these new cards. But again, this is like a card that you could you could definitely try this guy out. Not in the most amazing card ever, but especially if you're a fan of the Libertadores or Copa Sudamerica, this is like perfect for you. Uh, it, it just really, it's, it's interesting, right? Again, the squad building opportunities of some of these new cards 
is cool. A lot of options, so I do rate that. Other content that we got today in the game. I was not super pumped about this. I'm a Spurs fan. I should be excited for this SBC. Player moments, Dalvin and Sanchez. I'm just not excited about it because, yes, it is a really, really nice looking card. It's a beast. You know, I'm sure this card's pretty good in game. Medium high work rates, six foot two. Agility and balance are not that hot, but he's got really good defensive stats. Premier League center back. I just don't like this because he already had a Footmas SBC released. I have that card in my club. I haven't even played a game with that card since I did the Footmas SBC as a Spurs fan. Pretty plastic, I know. I'm probably not going to do this SBC because just why? There's no point in me doing this SBC and getting this card when I already have the other one. He's not going to make it in my team. That was that today. Uh, we had, I think we had, a, do we have a kit? We have a kit objective. We had a SBC, a pack supply, just like a 55K pack SBC. And that was basically it for the SBC content today. And we did have an objective as well. This objective Joe, Joe card, right? This is a dope card. It's actually not that hard to do. So I'm a fan. If you guys want to do this one, this is a pretty solid looking card. 89 rated, 87 pace, 90 shot, 84 pass. If anything, it's an 89 rated card that you're going to be able to use for SBCs down the line. If you're somebody who likes doing objectives, you get some decent packs in here as well. You do have to grind some rivals wins, but you know, it is what it is. And uh, that's not a terrible card. Brazilian links as well. So that's not too bad. Now I want to move on to some of the other stuff that they mentioned in here. We talked about the engagement packs. We talked about the coin discounts a little bit. Uh, how long are these cards in packs? The Libertadores. These cards are in packs for one week is all the longer that these cards are in packs and i think that this this two week promo is going to seriously be more of like a two week promo we're going to see two separate things for the first week and for the second week so we'll see what happens in the second week but since these are only in packs for a few a few days in one week i think that something else is coming the second half i don't think they're going to put more libertadores cards in the second half i don't think they they really have have that but man of the match cards were dropped tonight we have a ricardo perea right back card we have a Joshua Kimmich center back card. Now, this is interesting, again, for squad building. I don't think you'd use this guy at center back. High low work rates at center back is not the move. But it is a Bundesliga center back that if you need some uh, links in squad building, that could provide some links for you there. Some other cards we had, we had the Agalo man of the match. Again, just like with Fred last week, please just buy one of these at discard price, 10,000 coins. Chuck it in your club in a week. He's probably going to be 15, 16K like Fred is because he's Manchester United. Players like that get the hype. Um, Miguel Almiron's not a terrible card. Arangiz, again, the man of the matches this week are just kind of they're just kind of average. Except this Ricardo Pereira is kind of nice. Uh, I wish they would have given him 80 physical, but 175k for this. What's his? Other, he's got the left back position change shapeshifter, which is almost the same rating as this one, really close in rating. Uh, and then this, the other right backs probably took a hit today because of that. But that's kind of the stuff that we saw today in game content wise uh, for the Conmebol Bowl stuff. Now, what happened on the market? Because I want to talk about this a little bit because there was a lot of market movements today. There was a lot of panic in the morning. And I mentioned this to you guys. I said, hey, watch out for some panic. There's going to be some panic because the word was getting out about this promo last year, right? This promo last year, uh, they dropped best of team of the week in packs and people went nuts. For that because that was something that they had done a couple times last year but they dropped when they dropped ramos uh man of the match card last year they dropped inform ronaldo inform messi team of the group stage neymar when you drop those cards in packs that goes and makes people want to open packs because those are the best and the biggest cards in foot getting into the game and today i mean they did the half price packs like they're in the store right now half price packs with coins only of course um, and then the buy one, get one free packs as well. I don't know if those were coins only, um, but it was basically, if you bought one pack, you got a second one with it. But the fact that these are half coin, this encourages people to open packs with coins, which will decrease the amount of coins on the market by a lot because people will not be getting that pack value back most of the time. If they open it with coins, even if they open half that, right? Like let's, let's say you spend 50 K and you get, 250k packs instead of getting 150k pack right there's probably a lot of the time where you get that pack back and you're only going to make like 20 to 30,000 coins back 
from that pack and that's just you're not going to make a lot of coins and that drains a lot of coins off this game so they're doing lightning rounds for the buy one get one freeze and then these half price packs are just chilling out here now it is tempting you're like man a 25k pack for 12k should i give it a try well you know what let me show you right now and show you how you should not give it a try because these are not good watch me pack something sick but these are not good to do no board right yeah no board boom look at that I just wasted 12.5k and then in your head you're like bro okay well i get if i open another one it's basically the same thing right because you're thinking all right well i just opened one it was only 12.5k if i really wanted a 25k pack let me do one more i'm not going to do one more but that's how they get you right they get you on packs like that don't open packs with coins please because save those coins those coins are precious until we get to team of the season when those coins can make you tons of more coins if you want to trade during tots but also pay for tons of upgrade SBCs, which we're going to be slamming on this channel, dur channel during team of the season. So be careful with your coins. Don't spend coins on packs. Please do not. But there's going to be a lot of people to do today or in, over this weekend. So I think we're going to see some falling prices over this weekend. But I want to show you a graph right now of um, what happened today. And this is like, if you go look at a lot of special cards, especially ones that are hyped up that a lot of people use, this was the market movements that you saw today. Panic selling until right before the promo happened. And then people were like, okay, some of the stuff is too low. And it basically stayed low as we got to 6 p.m., right? Boom, 6 p.m. comes. People see the content. They're like, man, I really don't have a lot of connection to Comic Bowl Libertadores, right? A lot of people in the UK, a lot of people across the world just don't have a connection to that like the South Americans do. No offense again to you South American guys. You guys are loving this right now, right? Heck yeah, GG's, right? Like some of us MLS guys that watch the MLS were a fan of that Gary Mackey Stevens that we got last week, right? You weren't as much a fan of that then. Now you're a fan of these cards. But this happened all over the market today, especially ones that were hyped up, cards that a lot of people wanted to use. There was a lot of panic selling and then a rebound just because the content today was less than spectacular. Vinicius, 440K all the way up back over 500 especially these shapeshifter cards, which a lot of people are using right now in foot bounced really well. Uh, let's even look at like a team of the week card, right? Bruno Fernandez, which by the way, we need to talk about at the end of this video because there's some possible investments we could be making related to player of the month. Bruno Fernandez was 300,000 coins flat. Boom, back up to 320, 330 now. It was, this was how it was across the board today on meta usable special cards. I think even like Mbappe, or Neymar, right? Neymar was like 580k this morning, and then he bounced back to 640, which uh, is 635 right now. So Neymar was 649, went all the way down to 585, and then boom, instantly back to 640k because the content today was just less than desirable, which kind of sucks. But it was the way that it was, and that's the way that we move on. So that those are kind of the market movements that we saw today. What's going to happen for the rest of this weekend? I think stuff is going to continue trending downwards because again, people are going to be doing SBCs. Like we, we just got this, this pack in the code for a guaranteed 84 to 91 rated player pack. We'll switch back over here to the, to the, the website and I'll show you. This is by Toto UT, a very reliable source. They have access to the foot code. Guarantees a player uh, with a unique rating of 84 to 91. That's what you can see here in this pack code. It's in Spanish, but I know my Spanish. I also can click this translate tweet button and prove to you that that is what it is. Guarantees a unique gold player with a rating between 84 and 91. The most interesting thing I want to say here is unique gold player. Now, I don't know if that means that that gold player has a special card that is in packs at that current time that you'll get a special card. I don't think that's what it means. I think you're actually just going to get a gold player, regardless of whatever card you pack, it's going to be the gold one. So what could this do to the market? This is again, just a really random type of upgrade SBC, but it prepares you and people might do it to try to get somebody, you know, on the more 87, 88, 89 rated range, depending on how this pack gives out. Um, that could be something that a lot of people would end up trying to do the SBC for. If we have a lot of SBCs coming up, that would require high rated golds, which we do because of a great thing called player of the month. And I don't know if this is going to be related to um, the player of the months that are upcoming, 
But we're still on the market or on the game right now, we have the Holland Player of the Month, which you shouldn't do because that's overpriced. But we have the Neymar Player of the Month, which a lot of people are completing. We just got rid of, rid of an, a Shapeshifters guaranteed pack that rose 89 rated cards from 36K to 46K in some cases, purely because of that pack in general. And now the Player of the Month for February in La Liga was announced today as Messi. So we are going to be getting another Player of the Month Messi SBC. And if you look in foot, Player of the Month uh, Thiago Courtois, this card expires in two days. Messi Player of the Month SBC is probably going to be coming very, very soon. Within the next week, I would say. Could be even in three or four days. So that's going to be something a lot of people are going to want to go for. It's going to be a 97 rated Messi. The second one available through Player of the Month. Should be somewhere between 2 to 2.2 mil coins, maybe 2.5 mil at the most. I'll talk about that in a separate video if you guys want me to. Uh, but that is, again, another thing that makes me think of high-rated golds. And even if we go back, there was more Player of the Month stuff released today. I don't know if you saw this. Player of the Month for the Premier League voting is now open with our leaders. And I think this is personally, it, it's got to be Bruno Fernandes in my opinion. I think Bruno Fernandes is going to win this. Again, he's probably going to dominate most of the fan vote because he's Man United, right? He's, he's played pretty sensational since coming into the Premier League at Manchester United. The only thing that I think is close between him, it, it's either going to be Bruno Fernandes or Aubameyang, in my opinion. I'll probably make a video about that as well. Can we invest for those? What to look for? But again, referencing that 84 to uh, 91 rated SBC, why would EA want to put something like that out? To try to stop the rise of these higher rated cards, the 86s, the 87s, the 88s, and the 89s, they put that type of SBC out to try to stop the rise on these because that way you can get them from the SBC and not just buy them off the market and try to create some normalcy. And they can juice that 84 to 91 rated SBC to give out a lot of high rated cards so that these don't go up as much and people do that SBC. So that's going to be something to look out for. But regardless, watch these cards over the last over this next day or so as we're still in a period where they could drop lower with the best uh, or the buy one, get one free packs. Allison, look at these price fluctuations. Allison was 46,000 coins before the content dropped today. The man goes down to 34, 35K. He's rebounded back a little bit. Um, but if there's no big SBCs that come today, I would highly recommend going back in on some of this high rated fodder, 87s, 88s, 89s, and 90s, especially I would look at those, maybe even Oblock for a 91 rated. 86s I'm not so sure about uh, because we have a lot of special cards that are starting to get into the 86 rated range. Like look at these Kami Bowl cards and Man of the Matches that are some of the cheapest 86 rated. Buy one, chuck it in your club. But other than that, uh, 86s, I need to see them a tiny bit lower in my opinion to go up more. But I think these cards do have a potential rebound. Of course, we still have Neymar SBC who is out. We're going to be getting a Messi Player of the Month, possibly a Bruno Fernandez Player of the Month. And then any other SBCs that they put on top of that is just icing on the cake, right? If they put out like a Conmee Bowl Player SBC or more moments or flashbacks. That's why I'm a fan of stocking these 87s, 88s, and 89s. Honestly, 83s and 84s are stupid cheap as well. If you want to invest in that 84 to 89 rated SBC, um, some of the Kadira 950 for a German and uh, Serie A player that is insane for linking SBCs. Even Fabian Spanish on, on and on Napoli, great linkage uh, 83 rated cards. So if you want to go in on some 83s, pick some of the boys with good links. Same with the 84s, and you could go hard if you really wanted to. There's there's got to be an SBC in the next few days that will make those rise, uh, just because they've been they've been stupid low for a long time. This is, I even went in on this boys because I don't usually buy high rated. I went out and bought high rated today because these cards literally dropped 25% today, 25% drop on these cards. And the SBCs that made them go up are still in the store because of the Neymar. I know the Shapeshifter SBC went away, but uh, having these cards here is, I just dropped a million coins basically on the 89 rated because I feel like there's definitely a chance of them going up in the next couple days. With more SBCs coming out and with the player of the months that are looming on the horizon for these guys. So that's the major majority of stuff that I wanted to talk about today. The rebound on the market, 
Now, if you have stuff that you need to sell, right? Like let's say your weekend league squad, you're playing a weekend league this weekend like I am, and you need to get some cards out and get some coins and get liquid because you think the market's gonna go down in the next few days. I'm with you on that. I think the weekend league sell off this weekend is gonna be pretty major. On icons, I think it's gonna be major. On special cards across the board, even your gold Ronaldo, your gold Messi, your gold Neymar, I think those cards are gonna be taking some hits. Mbappe as well. How much is Mbappe? 700K? Wow, I'm, I'm way behind the times in some of these, man. 500,000 coins for Mbappe, right? 500K for this card. I still feel like this has room to drop this weekend. Uh, even though it rebounded a bit today, there was so much panic. That just makes me think that it's going to go lower from the panic that we saw. Panic prices that we saw Friday headed into the promo. I think you'll see those again. Neymar at like 590K, under 600. I think you'll see those again in the weekend league sell-off. This market's going to be losing a lot of coins this week with the half price packs. Buy one, get one free packs. And whatever SBC content that they do come out with as well. Hopefully, it's something sick. Like they've been, in, they included these team of the week one through 25 red player picks, right? Uh, which is the sole reason why I'm playing weekend league this weekend. Which, by the way, you don't have to, when you get to 10 wins, you will get this player pick right away. Like right now, I'm two and one in the weekend league. Once I hit 10 wins, I will get this right away. Like it'll just be mine. I can open it whenever, right? So I hope that we get a team of the week one through 25 SBC. That would be pretty hype. Uh, they could throw that into this, this promo as well. But I see the market dropping throughout the rest of this week. So if you want to get some stuff out this morning before a lot of the weekend leagues sell off starts, be my guest. I, I do think that's a smart idea. I'm not going to be trading with any of these cards overnight because they're already getting up in price. They're already getting inflated. Um, and I just don't feel like there's a ton of people that want to use these, not as many people as a normal promo week would with some of the more hyped up players from the bigger name clubs across the world. That's just my opinion. But if you enjoyed today's video and the talk that we had today, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. Of course, if you are new, that's kind of an overview of today's content. And hopefully tomorrow we'll come back with something sick that we, uh, that we get today. So I'll be glad and hopeful for some awesome Saturday content on foot. Good luck with your weekend league. And again, it's been your boy, Nate, the foot account. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.